<clears throat> so I guess it's kind of a story behind this flat tire that it's got because it's it ended up uh, oh how do you say I guess it's been um, on there about three years uh, um, I've been through a lot of two wheels and tires on the left which um, they they wear out I guess <laughs> These 4x12 wheels and tires, um, they used to have eights on it, but they, I had one of them just totally destroy itself. But anyway, these are 4x12s. Um, I put these on here back in uh, 2016, went to Burning Man, that was like a 500 mile trip. Went down to Southern California. It's uh, it's about a thousand miles all total. It's just 500 down and 500 back. Burning Man's about 500 miles round trip, I guess. Is it that far? I don't know. 12 hour drive. Then you turn around and come back, so it's about 500 total. Um. Let's see, and then I think I took another trip in 20, uh, yeah, those two places, and in 2017, I took a trip down to Oklahoma from Oregon, which is about 2,000 miles, and on the way back, I changed the one on the left twice, not once but twice. One of them bubbled up and they were these journeys. Um, it bubbled up and uh, it, it bubbled up and it was going lump to lump to lump to lump on the thing. So luckily when I pulled in for camping I was like oh I better change that. Changed it. And then uh, that was at Carlsbad and then uh Somewhere in Arizona, about 250 miles later, the other tire that was on that same wheel ended up throwing a tread, an 8-inch long strip of tread off into the air. And uh, it was, that seemed funny, but it, it threw it and messed up the plate and Ended up finding a garage that had one. I think there was a... Uh, yeah, he was able to change it out. No, I remember what it was. I had a spare. I picked up a spare tire. Because I was like, oh man, I need to pick up a spare tire. So I was able to get a spare tire. Um, I had another one on hand at a tire store. And... And... I, uh... You know, I just picked it up. Oh, hey, here's a tire in a tire store. Hey, I got the tire irons. I can change it out. Anyway, it's they're real difficult to change with tire irons. In fact, it's almost impossible. I think you can change out an 18-wheeler tire uh, 10 times easier than what you can change out one of these because they're so small and tight. Forget it. <laughs> anyway, the, <laughs> you can get it off, but you can't get it on without one of those shooter cans. It's a can with a little hose on it and a big valve and you get it on there without the, the press of the valve in the middle of it and open up the air it goes poof, expands onto the wheel and shut the air off. So anyway I was able to get into a um, a garage and he changed out the tire that I bought at the tire store because I knew I would need hey I need another spare picked up one after changing it the first time and went by a tire store and picked it up and and then at the garage I he ended up changing it out for me and uh, so that was in 2017 I changed out that left one twice I tried to keep it like 60, 65 mile an hour, but it made it all the way home. 
and uh, I'm not sure it isn't still on there because uh, that was in 2017 so and then I ended up getting these these two spares that was in the first video for just a few minutes ago I'll, that and I pasted on the head of this video um, it was um, they <laughs> yeah yeah that was so anyway 2017 came back um, let's see I took another short trip after that in 2017 I may have gone to uh, uh, Southern California no no in 2017 I did not go I, I came back through Southern California and then uh, in 2018 I went back down to Southern California which is about I think it's a thousand miles all total if it takes two days uh, I'm not sure it ain't I'm not sure it ain't a thousand miles down there because you gotta go down through Oregon and then it's two full days I'm not sure it ain't a thousand miles down there because it's all the way to Palm Springs so yeah yeah I think it's a thousand miles down and then a thousand up so it's another two thousand miles and then uh and then I went down there again this year <laughs> You know, went back down to Southern California, Palm Springs again this year, and then came back. And <laughs> that's that's it. You know, there's about two, three thousand. I don't know. This one over here on the right that's flat. It's got. It made it. It it went through all that. It went through all that. The one on the left was changed out in 2017. It only has like like I don't know, three six maybe four five thousand six thousand miles on it. But this one on the right, it's got a full uh, five. Let's see, one thousand <clears throat> four thousand miles for the one trip. Uh, four thousand, probably five, five, an extra thousand for each each one to Burning Man, but it didn't go. It only went once there, so that's four, five, uh, two times the Southern California, six, seven, and then maybe another trip or two, maybe eight thousand miles. <laughs> Maybe 8,000 miles and it's it's gone. I arrived here and it went flat. Just It started going flat just as soon as I arrived. <laughs> but there it goes. It's kind of curvy. So it may have... Like, <laughs> the curves pushed it over its edge. So now it's... The curves push it over its edge of... Of... Uh, of usefulness <laughs> so now it's flat at least I'm here for five days I can change it out before I leave <laughs> but I think the tread is pretty much gone I'm gonna look for a nail but I don't think I'm gonna find one I think it's just the tread the tread gets worn out and it's done <laughs> Anyway, I got these other two, and uh, um, since the journey seems to last a while, okay, seven or 8,000 miles, I'm going to put it on the right side, because that's the spare that I picked up. Um, I'm not sure where I got it from. It may have been by Mart or Harbor Freight. I don't see a Harbor Freight sticker on it, so probably not there. 
but yeah I'll, when it warms up I'll change that out I'll change that other tire out and, and then break it down and see what's wrong with this one I bet it's just tread wore out I'm guessing I can put a screwdriver through the tread real easily because it's two ply it's got like a a two ply main ply and when the outer rubber ply gets loose or bald when it starts to bald in a little bit it'll it'll get loose and it'll actually work itself loose from the inner ply um, there's like a nylon cord in between that's like holding air in the tire <laughs> and then it's and it'll actually work the outer one loose first make a lumpy lump and then uh or throw it but it'll still be held in by that inner ply and then it's toasted you have to replace it then almost immediately otherwise this happens but i'll I think I'll I'll hook the Jeep up to it. <laughs> I've had this trailer for uh oh since twenty what I've had the trailer since about twenty eleven I think or twenty twelve. No, it was t somewhere around twenty twelve is when I bought it. And I had a I had four big totes, you know, the giant totes from Home Depot. Had four of those stacked on there. Oh, it was nice, you know, had those four totes. And they were strapped on with ratchet straps. They worked great. I went to Yellowstone with it. And, um, and then I, uh, and I had a little car too. It was a little Yaris. And I bought this this hitch that's on the back of it, 50 yards um, for Canada, but whatever. I put this little hitch on it, and then I put a bicycle on it, and put this trailer. And um, I wish I still had that Yaris, is but I can put. It's hard to fit all my camp and stuff in here. All of it in the in the yards, especially when you go into a pan in and you got cans and you got to carry your own water and stuff. It's <laughs> things have gotten bad. You got to have your own water. It's like this uh, Whitcomb Creek. They have one spigot working. Hey, the well ain't working, but we got the spigot and there's this 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 water this trailer with water on it. This is your drinking water, but I'm pulling it out of the well, out of the one spigot that works. It's a little murky. It's the color of the lake. So I'm I'm guessing it's clean. Because it isn't like it's got, like, stuff growing in it. It's just stuff from the lake in it. So it's drinkable. But this isn't the only campground. There's, like... You know, you turn the spigot on and it works. That means it got some gravity water somewhere from the tank. But they, uh, but that's it. If you don't bring, so if, anymore you have to have your own water. There's, I took a trip around Washington. Half the parks did not have any water. They either broke or it ain't running or something wrong with the well. Up the road here, about 20 miles there's another park up there. The pump ain't working. No water. You got to bring your own. And that takes up a lot of room and a lot of weight, too. So that's that's another problem with this trailer. You add water, it's overweight. And then you got to have room in the vehicle, which is why I ended up with a, with a Jeep Cherokee. It's because a Grand Cherokee. An older one is because it's got more room than any other Cherokee that they made. And it's a 2004, and I'm going to hold on to it as long as I can because there's a lot of room in it. And there's more room in it than any of them. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, there's more room in it than any of them. But anyway, that's where I'm at. <laughs> 